facts. And this is the big poll result of consequence. You can see right here, we asked over 700 people across the state if the election were held today, who would they cast their vote for? As you can see, Cal Cunningham got about 49%, Tom Tillis 43%, and 8% undecided. Now, we talked with two political experts today about these results who looked at them in two completely different ways. The race is heating up and getting closer and closer to Election Day. You are bound to see more ads and more debates. And the numbers on the latest Fox 46 Emerson College poll show Democrat Cal Cunningham has the advantage. It looks like a lot of people's minds are made up, and therefore it's all about the parties turning out their respective bases, getting people to the polls because they are already energized and mobilized to vote. J. Michael Bitzer is a political science professor with Catawba College. He is not surprised by the results. Cal Cunningham has maintained a pretty uh, healthy lead over Tom Tillis. That has been in other polls as well. But Professor Susan Roberts of Davidson College says those numbers need to be approached a different way. Specifically, pay attention to the undecided voter percentage. We don't know yet um, how these unaffiliated are going to vote, but we do know their record numbers requesting ballots. Basically, who people are voting for is just as important as how they are voting. The poll took place between Wednesday and Friday of last week and may only partially take into account the death of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. That could be another wild card for the Senate race as the Senate has the final say on who will replace her on the court. And those numbers could change, and that undecided number could tighten. That 8.1% could tighten, depending on tomorrow night's debate. We will be at Raleigh tomorrow night and give you a wrap-up of what happened and how it could affect your vote. Lindsay?